student in this lecture uh, we will see about uh, the mechanism of the water absorption so a mechanism of the absorption of water okay mechanism mechanism of okay mechanism of absorption of water absorption of water so uh, we are to study in this lecture how the water is absorbed in the plant body okay or how uh, the plant absorb water or how the plant uptake the water from uh, the uh, surrounding in the sense from the soil solution okay uh, so uh, remember student there are the two ways or modes of the water absorption okay two two ways ways or uh, the modes okay there are two ways or the modes of water absorption the first way or the mode of water absorption it is the passive absorption okay passive absorption okay passive absorption and eligible the second way or the mode of water absorption it is the active absorption okay active active absorption so student uh, this passive and active absorption these are the two modes or the ways of water absorption so uh, under this uh, uh, the active absorption again there are uh, the two types of the active absorption it is osmotic and non osmotic okay two uh, two types of water absorption there osmotic and non -os osmotic okay osmotic and the next type it is the non osmotic osmotic and the non osmotic Uh, so these osmotic and non osmotic they are included under the active absorption so i want to tell you at this moment uh, the uh, what is the passive absorption and what is the active absorption in brief here in the passive absorption remember there is no expenditure of energy okay so uh, without utilizing the energy in the form of atp molecule the water absorption it is takes place inside the plant body so that type of the absorption it is called as a passive absorption means the uh, the activity of the living cell it is not responsible for a such a type of absorption uh, it is called as a passive absorption and in case of the active absorption uh, student uh, uh, in the active absorption there is a expenditure of energy in the sense there is a utilization of uh, the energy in the form of an atp molecule so uh, automatically in the active absorption uh, the existence of the living cell is most important okay or the activity of uh, that cell or uh, the living activity of the cell is most important so uh, you remember uh, this is the best difference in between uh, the passive absorption and the active absorption okay so let's see first uh, the passive absorption okay let's see first the passive absorption so in this passive absorption so the first one it is the passive absorption okay passive absorption remember in this passive absorption the water it is absorbed through root cells okay uh, there is no any role of root cell okay there is no any role of root cell so <clears throat> the water water uh, they are okay they are absorbed okay they are absorbed through through root cell okay they are absorbed through root cell but uh, the activity of root cell it is not responsible for a such type of uh, the passive absorption then remember this passive absorption uh where uh, when it is possible or when it is uh, takes place remember this passive absorption it is takes place 
in presence of presence of light okay in presence of light and remember uh, it is absent uh, okay absent uh, during night time okay they are absent during night time so remember the passive absorption student it is takes place in presence of light and uh, remember it is totally absent in uh, the night time then uh, what happened during uh, the light so uh, which process is responsible for a such type of passive absorption uh, remember student uh, in daytime or in presence of light the the transpiration plays a most important role so in passive absorption the transpiration okay transpiration they plays plays a most most important role okay transpiration plays a most important role so student <coughs> sorry uh, in the passive absorption in the presence of light the uh, transpiration they plays a most important role so because of the transpiration in aerial portion of plant what is transpiration student the removal of water in the form of water vapor from the aerial portion of the plant body okay that is the transpiration okay that is the transpiration means uh, when the water is removed uh, from uh, the aerial portion of plant body in the form of the water vapor in presence of light it is called as a uh, transpiration so remember the transpiration word we used when the water is removed in the form of water vapor from uh, the uh, living portion of the plant body okay it is called as a transpiration okay it is called as a transpiration so because of the transpiration student uh, the diffusion pressure deficit it is developed in the leaf okay because of the transpiration uh, the dpd uh, it is develop okay where it is develop it is develop in the leaf okay uh, dpd it is develop in the leaf so uh, remember uh, because of that diffusion pressure deficit develop in the leaf cell or where to say in the mesophyll tissue of the leaf that diffusion pressure deficit it is transfer towards the xylem tissue of that leaf okay xylem tissue of that leaf so from that uh, xylem tissue uh, the means uh, the xylem tissue of the leaf uh, the tension is developed okay that tension it is developed and uh, uh, that tension it is transferred towards the lower side means up to the xylem of the root okay so uh, remember this transpiration they create the tension in the xylem tissue of leaf uh, or uh, in the vessels of the xylem present in the leaves and that tension it is developed downwardly okay that tension it is developed downwardly and that tension it is transferred towards the xylem tissue of the root okay xylem tissue of the root remember so because of this transpiration pull uh, or the transpiration uh, the water pool is developed okay water pool is developed and that uh, because of that tension uh, the uh, the water it is lifted from uh, the xylem tissue of the root towards the aerial portion of the plant body so uh, remember by this way uh in case of the plant near about uh, the 98% okay near about the 98% of the water absorption it is seen in the plant okay in the plant means uh, uh, the plant shows the passive absorption of water means maximally plant shows the passive absorption of water uh, that means Uh, near about the 98% of the water it is absorbed passively in the plant body because of uh, the transpiration okay because of this transpiration remember uh, student because of the transpiration uh, the diffusion pressure deficit it is developed in the leaf and uh, because of that diffusion pressure deficit uh, they develop the uh, the 
water potential gradient from the leaf up to the lowermost uh, portion of the plant body that means up to the root okay so how uh, that uh, the negative water potential is developed inside the plant because of the transpiration let's say uh, here suppose a student this is uh, the this is the leaf okay this is suppose this is the leaf say uh, this is the leaf which are present in the aerial portion of the plant body suppose uh, from this leaf this is the one cell we have to magnify uh, this one cell from the leaf okay then because of uh, the uh, transpiration what happen uh, the water <clears throat> removed from the cell in the form of a water vapor okay when remember when the water is removed from this cell we are seen in previous lectures uh, that cell sap they become concentrated okay they become concentrated and when the cell sap it become concentrated so such a concentrated cell sap they are having the high okay high dpd dpd okay they are having the high dpd means they are having the more negative water potential okay they are having in the sense they are having the more negative water potential okay so for that water potential which sign we use we use the letter psi so they are having the more negative water potential so uh, how uh, the potential gradient it is developed okay how the potential gradient it is developed uh, that is a most important uh, question same uh, we are uh, seeing because of a such a type of the passive absorption uh, or in the plant body passively the 98 percent water uh, they are absorbed okay in the plant body the uh, water is absorbed passively and uh, that type of the passive absorption it is same near about 98 percent okay near about the 98 percent so uh, what is our question how the negative water potential gradient is developed and what is meant by that negative water potential gradient see uh, i want to show you that uh, the negative water potential gradient uh, see that uh, the negative water potential gradient so for that uh, we have to consider uh, the different parts of uh, the plant body so suppose uh, the leaves okay okay leaves they are present towards the aerial portion then the leaves they are attached to uh, the stem okay leaves they are attached to stem or uh, we have to say the uh, leaves they are attached to branches okay branches then all the branches we have to say they are attached to stem okay they are attached to stem then uh, the stem to that stem uh, which attached to that stem the root system okay root they are attached to that stem okay then uh, see because of uh, the transpiration the water it is removed from the leaf cell in the form of water vapor and when the water is removed that cell sap it become concentrated in the sense they are having a high dpd okay they are having a high dpd in the sense they are having uh, the more negative water potential okay more negative water potential than that of its lower cell okay than that of the its lower cell so my uh, question is what is meant by the water negative water potential gradient okay or what is meant by the negative water potential see uh, the leaves suppose the leaves they are having the water potential it is suppose minus 45 bar okay water potential so for that we use the letter psi so they are having a minus 45 bar uh, water potential because of the continuous transpiration automatically in the branches they are having uh, the little less or the little uh, less negative water potential suppose that water potential it is suppose it is minus uh, 30 bar water potential minus 30 bar water potential then towards this stem that water potential uh, they are decreases suppose it is suppose we have to say it is a minus 10 bar water potential so for that we use uh, the letter psi then uh, in the root okay in the root uh, remember in the root 
uh, we have studied the transfer of water across the root. Okay, means from the epiglema up to the xylem tissue. We have seen there. So uh, here, uh, we, uh, what we mentioned before, uh, in the passive absorption, uh, the water is absorbed passively through the root hair, but uh, the activity of the root hair is not responsible there. So we have to consider the water absorption right from root hair cell. Okay, right from root hair cell. So inside uh, the root, no doubt the xylem is there. Okay, inside the root, no doubt they, uh, they, there is a presence of the xylem. And xylem is followed by, there is a presence of the cortex we are seeing in the uh, sectional view of uh, the root where we have studied the movement of water across the root. So this is the cortex region, okay? And cortex region, it is followed by uh, the, we have to say, it is the root hair, okay? Root hair. So uh, remember, uh, when the stem, they are having the minus 10 bar water potential, then automatically the water potential, uh, they are having the less negative value in case of the xylem. Suppose uh, they are having the 7 uh, bar minus 7 bar water potential, okay? Then here the cortex cell, suppose they are having uh, the <clears throat> minus 4 bar water potential and here uh, this root here, they are suppose they are having the minus 1 or minus 2 bar water potential, okay? Water potential. So what is the uh, movement of water with respect to the water potential? The, remember student, the water, they moves from the less negative water potential to more negative water potential. So how that water potential, it is developed because of this transpiration. In the leaves, they are having the more negative water potential. In the branches, they are having the less uh, negative water potential as compared to the leaves. Then uh, they decreases in uh, the stem, they are having the again less negative, again less negative, again less negative, again less negative. So such a type of uh, the gradation of decrease in level of water potential, it is called as uh, the negative water potential gradient. Okay, it is called as a negative water potential gradient and because of a such a type of the negative water potential gradient, student, the water, they move from the less negative water potential to more negative water potential in the sense the water move from, yes it is, they move from the minus 1, okay, minus 1 or minus 2 bar water potential to the uh, maximum means more negative water potential that is minus 45 bar water potential. So this is how uh, the uh, water potential, negative water potential gradient is responsible for the uptake of water in the plant. Okay, uptake of water in the plant uh, passively. Okay, passively, uh, they are responsible for the absorption of water from uh, the root towards the aerial portion of the plant body. Okay, so uh, this is uh, in short what is meant by the passive absorption of the water in the plant. Remember, about 98% of the total water absorbed in plant passively. So you remember this one and uh, which process is responsible for a such type of passive absorption, the transpiration, they plays a most important role and remember a such a type of the passive absorption, it is only seen during the daytime, it is never seen during the night time. Then we will see now <coughs> the next uh, type of uh, the water absorption, it is the active absorption. So see uh, what is meant by the active absorption. Uh, in this active absorption, uh, student, uh, what is required? Uh, they, there is a utilization of energy, okay? Or there is a the expenditure of energy. Uh, it is required. So uh, remember, 
this expenditure of energy means uh, uh, here uh, this the active absorption it is seen during the night time okay it is seen uh, during the night time so this active absorption see the active absorption okay active absorption this active absorption uh, it is uh, utilized what is utilized there is a expenditure expenditure of energy okay here the energy is utilized for the absorption of water okay then uh, remember uh, this active absorption uh, it is seen during the night time okay it is seen seen during during night time okay it is seen during night time why it is seen uh, during night time because in the night time the stomata it is closed and the transpiration rate is totally absent okay so the stomata it is closed and the transpiration rate it is uh, the total absent so under such a situation uh, the plant uh, they utilize uh, the energy in the form of uh, the atp molecule okay atp molecule so with the help of the atp or with the help of the energy the plant uptake water and such a type of absorption it is called as the active absorption okay it is called as the active absorption see student this active absorption there are the two types the one is the osmotic absorption okay one is the osmotic absorption so uh, the first one it is the uh, the osmotic absorption so what is that the osmotic absorption so first type of the osmotic uh, absorption it is the osmotic absorption okay osmotic absorption so such a type of uh, the osmotic absorption uh, it is seen in the plant body it was given by the scientist atkin and presley okay it is given by the scientist atkin and presley atkin and presley okay atkin and the presley uh, they uh, put forth a system of the uh, active absorption uh, it is seen in the plant body so according to this uh, scientist atkin and presley uh, in the 1922 okay 1922 they observed there how the water it is absorbed in the plant body so according to this um, uh, the scientist in the plant body the water it is absorbed uh, through the osmotic gradient okay it is absorbed through the uh, osmotic gradient but they says there there is no expenditure of energy okay so according to scientists atkin and presley the water okay water it is absorbed in the plant through through the osmotic okay osmotic gradient okay through the osmotic gradient and uh, there is no okay uh, and there is no utilization of energy okay and and there is there is no utilization okay utilization of energy okay there is no utilization of energy the other way active absorption मध्ये काय केलं जातं की इथं एनर्जी युटिलाइज केली जाते देयर इज एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ एनर्जी सो बाय यूजिंग द एनर्जी द वॉटर अपटेक इट इज सीन इन द प्लांट बॉडी ओके एंड रिमेंबर दिस सच अ टाइप ऑफ द एक्टिव एब्सॉर्प्शन इट इज सीन ड्यूरिंग नाइट टाइम ओके इट इज सीन ड्यूरिंग नाइट टाइम बिकॉज Uh, during the night time there is no uh, the transpiration the stomata they are closed okay uh, so plant utilize the energy release uh, during the respiration 
released during the respiration. So remember uh, that energy it is utilized for the absorption of water. So that type of the absorption it is called the active absorption. So here in this active absorption uh, there are the two types of the active absorptions. The first one it is the osmotic absorption. So this is the osmotic absorption. And in the, this osmotic absorption uh, it was given by uh, the scientists Atkin and Prisley in 1922. So according to this Atkin and Prisley, what this is there, uh, uh, according to the osmotic way, uh, the plant absorb the water because of the osmotic gradient, but they never utilize the energy. They never utilize the energy. Then uh, how it is possible, the scientists Atkin and Prisley, they say there, uh, the root hair cell means uh, the presence of okay presence of uh, this root hair cell remember uh, that the living activity of the root hair cell uh, it is responsible for the absorption of water okay it is responsible for the absorption of water means uh, uh, they say that there is no expenditure of energy uh, and uh, the water is absorbed through osmotic gradient then how it is possible? They say that it is possible because of uh, the activity of living root hair cell. Because of the activity of living root hair cell. So here the living, okay, living root hair cell, okay, living root hair cell, they are responsible. Where they are responsible in the sense uh, because of the metabolic activities in the root hair cell the osmotic concentration it is maintained it is maintained and uh, that means the root hair cell they are having the uh, high osmotic concentration than that of the surrounding peripheral soil solution so that soil solution uh, they are hypotonic okay they are hypotonic and because of the living activity of the root hair cell the root hair cell they are having the solution they are hypertonic solution so they are having the high osmotic concentration when uh, the high osmotic concentration of the uh, root hair cell because of that they are having the higher dpd okay they are because of they are having the higher dpd in the sense they are having the more negative water potential so automatically uh, the that root hair cell they mm -hmm. uptake the water from surrounding because of uh, the difference in concentration gradient or because of the difference in osmotic gradient so this uh, principle uh, considered by this scientist atkin and prisley okay atkin and prisley what they say there uh, ki root hair cell ki living hai sajiva hai आणि त्याच्या अंतर्गत ऍक्टिव्हिटी मुळे त्या रूट हेअर सेल मधलं कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन हे मेंटेन होतं आणि ते कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन हे सॉइल सोल्युशन पेक्षा जास्त असतं म्हणजे ज्यावेळेस कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन जास्त असतं त्यावेळेस त्याचा डीपीडी हा हाय असतो आणि त्याचं वॉटर पोटेन्शियल हे मोर निगेटिव्ह वॉटर पोटेन्शियल असतं त्याच्यामुळं रूट हेअरच्या बाहेर जे सॉइल सोल्युशन आहे त्या सॉइल सोल्युशन मधलं पाणी हे रूट हेअर मध्ये घेतलं जातं अँड देन दे आर ट्रान्सफर टुवर्ड द कॉर्टिकल सेल ओके देन दे आर ट्रान्सफर टुवर्ड द कॉर्टिकल सेल अँड यू नो दॅट वेन दे आर ट्रान्सफर टुवर्ड द कॉर्टिकल सेल बिकॉज ऑफ द डिफरन्स इन डिफ्युजन प्रेशर डेफिसिट अँड बिकॉज ऑफ द डिफरन्स इन द निगेटिव्ह वॉटर पोटेन्शियल ग्रॅडियंट Uh, within that cortical cell, the water they move from uh, the root hair cell toward the next uh, single cortical cell. From that cortical cell, they move toward the second cortical cell. From second, they move toward the third, fourth, like this way. They are all the water they are accumulate uh, all along the endodermal side. Okay, all along the endodermal side, and there they maintain the uh, hydrostatic pressure. What they develop there? They develop there the hydrostatic pressure, and that hydrostatic pressure it is called as the root pressure, and that root pressure, student, it is responsible for the uh, transfer of water uh, 
towards the xylem of the root and from that xylem they are transported towards the aerial portion of the plant body. So according to scientists Atkin and Presley, uh, the living activity of root hair cell it is responsible for the transfer of water and then uh, the wat uh, water pressure is developed. That pressure it is called as a hydrostatic pressure and remember according to Atkin and Presley that hydrostatic pressure uh, it is responsible for the transfer of water towards the aerial portion of plant body. So this is student uh, the osmotic absorption of the water where the, there is no expenditure of energy though, though they are uh, included under the active absorption. Remember here under the active absorption why is this type of the osmotic uh, absorption they are included because under the active absorption there is an expenditure of energy and along with that uh, under the active absorption uh, there is a role of living cell it is most important so with respect to the second criteria that is the existence of the role of living cell this osmotic absorption they follow the existence of the role of living cell and they absorb uh, the water and they develop the root pressure uh, inside the cortex of that uh, uh, the root and that root pressure uh, it is totally responsible for the transfer of water toward the aerial portion of the plant body means whatever it may be the height of that plant so student this is what the osmotic absorption then the next uh, type of the active absorption it is the non osmotic absorption okay it is a non osmotic absorption in non osmotic uh, absorption uh, this type of uh, the theory or uh, uh, the hypothesis it is given by uh, the uh, scientist uh, uh, Kramer and Thiemann okay Kramer and Thiemann in 1959 uh, they put forth a such type of uh, the hypothesis uh, in the plant uh, the water is absorbed through the non osmotic way okay in the uh, osmotic way there is no expenditure of energy but in the non osmotic way uh, there is a utilization of the energy okay energy okay energy it is utilized uh, okay energy it is utilized energy in the sense in the form of the atp so uh, from where this energy is released so whatever the energy released during the respiration that energy it is utilized for the water absorption when the respiration chavale ji energy bahir padte atp cha swarupa madhe ti energy water absorption sathi vaparli jate asa kuni sangitla kramer ani thiemann ne sangitla mo tyala proof ka hai to tyane asa tyacha barobar sangitla ki when we supply the poor oxygen to plant the water uptake is less mhanje jave sapa oxygen cha supply kami karu करतो त्यावेळेस त्याच्यामध्ये वॉटर अपटेक हा कमी दिसतो किंवा जर आपण टेम्परेचर जर कमी असेल सराउंडिंग एरियामध्ये टेम्परेचर जर कमी असेल तर रेस्पिरेशनचा रेट देखील कमी असतो आणि अशा वेळेस वॉटर अपटेक देखील कमी दिसतं म्हणजेच यावरून त्याने असं सांगितलं की प्लांट्समध्ये जे वॉटर ऍब्सॉर्ब केलं जातं त्याला त्याने त्या ऍब्सॉर्बशनला नॉन ऑस्मोटिक एब्सॉर्प्शन ऑफ वॉटर असं की जिथे पोटेन्शियल डिफरन्स चा विचार न करता तिथे ही एनर्जी युटिलाइज केली जाते की जी एनर्जी रेस्पिरेशन मधून बाहेर पडते हे त्याने तिथे प्रूव्ह केलं सो रिमेंबर स्टुडंट दिस इज द व्हेरियस वेज ऑफ द वॉटर एब्सॉर्प्शन in the plant body okay student so with this plant we will stop at this moment